Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, and in this video today I wanted to go over SoFi stock. Definitely haven't talked about this one in a while. Now, we've got some things to look at on the chart. We've also got some positive catalysts, and also an important date coming up. We do have earnings coming up, and I'm going to look over that, give you some thoughts there. So let's get going on this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know the drill, and let's get into it. So first off, I will leave you guys this article down below, but I just wanted to bring one paragraph out of it, and you guys can look over the rest if you want. Now, we do have an important potential catalyst here coming up on December 31. This is when the federal loan moratorium would officially end. The loan forgiveness would end at that date. So everyone will be back on the hook for those loans the following day. And this Bank of America analyst, Mahir Bhatia, sorry if I butchered the name, has a price target of $9 and also believes that the resumption of these payments should create a meaningful catalyst path for SoFi. So this is a positive in all these recent negatives. And as we move forwards, we have some other potential positive or negative catalysts as well. And that's going to be their earnings. This is going to be on November 1. And this is going to be before the market open. And according to Google here, they do expect a negative 7 cent EPS, which is better than any previous one. And they're also expecting 391 million. Now, even if they don't beat this revenue, I do want to see them at least come in line over the previous revenue reported, which is 356 million. So I don't necessarily need to see that 391. I know it's going to be important to Wall Street. If they miss it, this could likely drop. Same with EPS. But what really is important to me is to see that we don't start dropping quarter over quarter. I want to at least see a small gain quarter over quarter. So as long as we beat this 356 million, maybe come in at 360, maybe 390, 380, whatever. To me, I think that's still a win in my book, as long as we don't have any regression here. I mean, if you look quarter over quarter, they have nice consistent growth. Just like my previous video about Palantir, we see consistent growth there, consistent revenue growth. And some other companies that come to mind are Indy, ChargePoint, even BNGO, Sensionics has relatively consistent growth. But the point is here is even if we don't beat revenue, I want to see us at least above 356. And it would be fantastic to see EPS come in line and at least not get over negative 11 cents. But how do you guys feel about SoFi earnings? Are you optimistic? Are you feeling a little pessimistic about it? This could be their first quarter where we actually see a drop in revenue. And we may have one more iffy quarter until this student debt forgiveness is over. But I personally don't think it's as huge of a deal as people are making it out to be because student debt isn't the only thing SoFi finds. Finances. And next up, let's look at SoFi's chart. We definitely have a couple patterns to watch out for and an important level to watch. Now, looking at SoFi, you'll see that once we broke out of this descending resistance, this blue line, you'll see that we went on a nice uptrend, this pink channel here. Once it broke this channel, you saw a clear reaction to that, just like you saw a clear reaction to a break out of this pattern. SoFi definitely likes to play its patterns. Reminds me a bit of BNGO stock. And as of recently, we have been flirting with our May 11 lows, which to me isn't a very good sign. Very possible we break this. I mean, you're talking like at 480 or so. So this is a very small drop away. And if it does break the low and not hold up, I think it's likely that we can come down lower, unfortunately. And I can definitely see this um, tightening up a little bit more coming up to earnings. And then we get either a huge pop or a huge drop. So this may come up beforehand, depending on what the market does, of course. So keeping on this wedge pattern, it does seem like we're getting some tightening up, but it's very possible we just trade sideways up to earnings. So I've seen this a lot of times before when earnings comes up, we get this tightening and then suddenly you get that breakout in either direction. So the 1st of November is definitely going to be a big day for SoFi. We may have a lot of volatility, a lot of range on this stock, and this may be great for some potential day trades. Although with it being such a small cap, the spread probably isn't all that great, but I'll have to look into it. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know your thoughts on SoFi. Is it a swing trade for you? Is it a long-term position or is it something you're just watching out for? Take it easy and have a great weekend.